Fish? In your steam locomotive? It's more likely than you think. Steam locomotive water tanks and tenders have to be very big to keep up with the demands of the engine's boiler, and it isn't unheard of for footplate crews to source water from questionable places in the event of an out-of-service water tower. It has happened they've had to pump water from either canals or rivers in a pinch and have ended up transferring fish into the engine's water tanks. Similar events have happened in Canada and various parts of America. A railroader in northern Ontario said they frequently used a steam pump to siphon water from a nearby lake lake to use in locomotive boilers, as water stops would likely have been far apart from each other or hard to come by on remote stretches of line. It wasn't unheard of for the pump to accidentally pick up various small fish from out of the lake. What they did with the fish, however, I am unsure. It's implied that some drivers in the early days of steam may have knowingly kept fish in locomotive tenders. It's known that an eel lived in the tender of engine number 133 of the Glasgow and Southwestern Railway for a long time until an absent-minded crew turned steam back into the water tank to heat the feed water, and ended up boiling the eel alive. Other engines were known for having fish in their tanks too, as drivers often said they would eat up any vegetable matter that would build up in the sieves, keeping them clean. A driver by the name of Willie Craig, working at the Glasgow and Southwestern Railway, kept a big eel in the tank of engine number 254, having remarked, A hungered looking brute it was, a grow to the head. It had lugs on it like a horse. As weird as it all sounds, proper water filtration wasn't fully developed enough to justify treating the amount of water that went into engine's boilers, so it's likely there would be a buildup of plant matter in the water tanks over time, so keeping an eel in there wasn't a terrible idea. So next time you see an old steam locomotive, remember that it's not impossible for it to have also served as a fish tank at some point in its working life, even if there was never an intention for it to be. Subscribe for more. Thank you